Microsoft Surface Laptop 4 is here. I've got one of the very first models and I'm gonna tell you what surprised me about it. So Microsoft Surface Pro, that's the tablet with the detachable keyboard, always gets all the attention. It's kind of the flagship, but I've always thought the Surface Laptop is really the secret hero of that line. Now, when the Surface Laptop was introduced a few years ago, it was a very competent, nicely made 13-inch laptop. It was a little weird in that it had an Alcantara fabric wrist rest. That's something you don't see in laptops very often, but it was nicely designed and you had Microsoft doing the hardware and the software. That's kind of like how Apple makes the operating system and the hardware for their Macs. You get some good synergy that way. But more importantly, I like the Surface Laptop because it was frequently on sale. And if you got a good discount from the Microsoft store when they had one of these you know, occasional price cuts, you can get a very nice 13 inch Surface Laptop with a Core i5 for under $800. For the Surface Laptop 3, Microsoft added a 15 inch version and that was a little bit of a tougher case to make. In the 15-inch space, there's a lot more competition for these sort of creative pro or semi-pro laptops where you may be doing Photoshop or editing in Premiere or doing some 3D designing and, you know, maybe playing games. And also, it was much more expensive. You really didn't get that sense that you could get a good bargain on that 15-inch Surface laptop. Although, again, it was a very competently made, uh, perfectly nice laptop. And they even had some AMD models. Well, now for the Surface Laptop 4, Microsoft is really stepping up on the AMD side, so you can get both Intel and AMD versions. Now, the least expensive right now at $999 is the 13-inch model, and that has an AMD processor. If you trade up for a few hundred dollars, you can get into an Intel Core i5. The 15-inch model starts more expensive, $1299, again, AMD, but then you leapfrog a bit between Intel and AMD, and what I have right here is the 1699 version. It's got an AMD Ryzen 7, but that's the older generation Zen 2, not Zen 3. And it's got 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 uh, SSD. That's what I would call a standard walk in the door configuration for a really professional level 15 inch laptop. You can get the same configuration, but with an Intel Core i7, a current gen, 11th gen Intel Core i7 for $100 more, and maybe that's something to look at. Now, one of the big things Microsoft is claiming about this new version of the Surface Laptop line is that it's going to get better battery life. And interestingly, they're saying it's the AMD models that are going to get the best battery life. If you get a 13-inch AMD version, Microsoft says you can get up to 19 hours of battery life, and that's a lot better than the Surface Laptop 3, where battery life was really kind of one of the weak spots. In the 15-inch AMD version, they say 17 and a half hours. Now, of course, a laptop manufacturer is always going to give you the best possible case battery life. We, of course, are going to do our own testing and find out how long this guy will last. Generationally, going from Surface Laptop 3 to Surface Laptop 4, there are not really a lot of huge changes. The screen remains the same, and for me, that's always been one of the highlights. This was one of the first laptop lines to really embrace a 3 by 2 aspect ratio display. Now, a lot of laptops are still 16 by 9. That's wider. That's kind of like an HDTV. Great for watching movies, maybe not great for office work. And now that we're all working from home, you want kind of a more you know, work-friendly screen. So three by two gives you a lot more height. So if you're reading, let's say a document on screen or working on a spreadsheet that, that goes up like this, you really get a lot more useful screen real estate from a three by two display. The ports are the same. You get a regular USB-A and a USB-C, uh, no Thunderbolt, also no LTE options on this, even though that is an option on a lot of the other Surface products, just not the Surface laptop. And of course, here's one fun bit. If you miss the MagSafe connection on Apple laptops where the power plug would connect magnetically, if you tripped over it, it would just pull out. Microsoft is one company that keeps that concept alive. They have got their own magnetic plug and it actually plugs in right down here. There you go, it snaps in. And if you walk by and trip over the cable, it just pops right out. Now I'm gonna say, it's hard to put in sometimes. It pops out by itself sometimes. So compared to MagSafe, it is not nearly as good but I appreciate it because I'm always tripping over laptop cables. Now I have literally just taken this 15 inch Surface Laptop 4 out of the box. So I'm looking forward to setting it up, uh, doing a bunch of benchmark testing on it, battery testing, doing some gaming, maybe doing some photo and video editing. So stay tuned and we will report back to you with what the performance is like in this 1699 version of the Surface Laptop 4.